Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking through this look step by step. This is a very glam, cool toned makeup look that's perfect for the holiday season. I love this look. I've been wearing this nonstop. I use the new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. This has been just sitting on my desk here and I haven't put it away because I've been using it so much. You can really customize this look how Ever you want you can skip the liner you can smoke out the bottom lash line you can swap out the lip for something bold and do like a berry or a red however you want this look is so customizable and that's why I love it so much because it's kind of just it's simplistic but super glam too so I hope you guys like this look I'm definitely gonna be wearing this throughout the whole holiday season so um, yeah I'm gonna walk you through all of my tips and tricks walk you through the look step by step and break it down so i hope you like this please subscribe and let's just jump right in to begin i'm going in with the hourglass vanish face primer and i'm gonna put this all over my face and just rub that in if you're wearing anything low cut and you're going to like a holiday party or whatever i just think it looks i don't know i just like putting makeup on like this whole area because i just feel like it ends up all matching it looks really smooth and it looks just just gives that little extra something. So for my foundation, I've been loving this one from Chanel. It's so bougie. The revitalizing foundation, I'm in the shade B30. And this just gives such a beautiful finish to my skin. I love the way that this looks. So I'm gonna start with one pump on my Fox 4 brush and just start on the cheeks. Got the majority of the product off of my brush. Then I'll go in with another pump and work from there. And then just bringing this and then bringing it down my neck and my chest. The only giveaway is that my hands don't match, but that's okay. And then I'm grabbing the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer and my brand new beauty blender. This is like neon pink. My old one looks literally like beige. Um, so I'm gonna bring this under my eyes. And over here I have some blemishes. I'm actually I'm a little bruised here. This whole area kind of hurts. I did a, ugh, what is it called? I think it's a clean. It's not a snatch because a snatch goes above, but I did it where you kind of like hinge forward and lift the bar up like this. And my color bone is like <laughs> sore. Sometimes I get sore from working out in like the weirdest spots and I'm always confused. I'm always like taken off guard by it. Um, okay, so I'm just blending this in. Oh my gosh, a brand new beauty blender is <laughs> amazing. This is like so spongy. And now I'm gonna go into my cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury and cream contour up my face. I honestly just like haven't really switched up my face routine much. I haven't really felt the need to. I love what I've been using. I think it looks really good on my skin and I like the way that the products perform. I've really only just been like alternating what I'm using on my eyes and lips. Yeah, sometimes like if you just find something that you like, especially when it comes to the face, cause I feel like you have a good complexion or like good makeup on the face. It tends to just like make the whole look look really nice. I feel like the skin is the most important part. So if you have amazing eyeshadow, but the skin doesn't look as good, I feel like it stands out. Where if the skin looks good and you have like no eyeshadow on, it looks great, you know? I'm not even talking about like no pimples or anything like that. I just mean that the way that the makeup is applied. Because you can apply makeup on the skin, even if you're having like breakouts and stuff, and it can still look amazing, but there's a way to apply it and it looks like just overdone or cakey or whatever. And I feel like that stands out more than unblended eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So underneath the eyes and just this whole front cheek area. And then just dust it away with a brush. And then I'm gonna go into Bone Beige from MAC. This is one of my favorite contour products. I'm gonna use a 112 brush from Smith. Pick this up sculpt out the cheek a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go into highlighter before blush. This one is from Pat McGrath. This is in the color Golden Moonlight. Um, this is what the inside looks like. This is just like my go-to everyday highlighter. I love it. It's become my ultimate favorite. And I'm gonna grab a Fox 5 brush 
get up on the tip of it and pop it right here on the cheekbones. And I am gonna layer my highlighter today because this is a Christmas look. I've got one of my favorite products here that I'm gonna use that I usually pop into all of my holiday looks just because, yeah, you'll see. You will see. So I'm gonna start here and then go in with a smaller brush, pick this up and focus this right on the center of the nose. Then I also take this on the cupid's bow and then blend it out. Okay, and then to bring the highlight over the top, this is one of my favorite products, especially for this time of year. This is How Many Carrots Diamond Balm from Fenty Beauty. And the packaging, first of all, is just glorious. And they have different colors, but this one kind of goes a little bit more silvery. So I'm gonna pick up the same Fox 5 brush, pick it up in here, and it's just like straight up sparkles. And I'm just gonna be very strategic with where I place this, but it gives just that little bit of extra shimmer and sparkle bring it up into the look it's not gonna look like you're straight up glittery everywhere it's just like when the light hits you it's gonna have just that little kiss of a sparkle and be so pretty and so perfect for Christmas and then for blush I've honestly just been grabbing this Mac palette that I have here with all of my favorite Mac blushes so I'll link the one that I use down below I just have to figure out what it is because I don't have the names on here but I'm just gonna grab a random one here and pick it up on my brush blend this on my cheeks and I like to do the highlighter first because then I feel like when I apply my blush afterwards it kind of just peeks out from behind it and it just blends a little bit nicer in my opinion. So now that the face is done, we can move on to the eyes. So lately for my brows, I've been using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Brunette and the Merit Brow, jo blah, blah, <laughs> brow Gel. I think it's called like 1980 or 19, I think it's called Brow 1980. Um, oh, it just says volumizing brow volumizing pomade, whatever. I got this in brown. These have been my two favorite things for brows. So I'm gonna quickly zoom through this, fill them in, and then apply the brow gel. Okay, my brows are done, they're filled in. I'm gonna go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and prime my eyes. I'm just picking it up here on my finger and pressing it in. Okay, so for this look, I'm using this new palette from Makeup by Mario. This is called the Ethereal Eyes Palette. This is so beautiful. When I saw this online, I knew I wanted to get it. And then I saw it in person when I was shopping the Sephora sale and I just had to get it. So um, I've been wearing this like nonstop the last like two weeks and it's so pretty. I had to do this look and I'm gonna be doing a wing with it. I've just been on a wing kick. So um, I'm gonna do some of the eyeshadow now, then do the wing and then probably build onto it because sometimes I just don't know the placement of where I'm gonna want things until I have a wing on, so whatever. Um, I'm gonna first go into this shade right here. It's just like a nice light brown. And bring this right here in the crease. <laughs> my hand is so much lighter than my face. I'm lightly gonna bring a little bit of this underneath. I'm looking up. To access the area. I'm not even using a mirror. I'm just slapping this underneath. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of this like pinkier peachy shade, just a hint of it kind of like warms up the look a little bit. I think that pink also kind of makes it a little festive too. I don't know why that is, but it just feels that way. And then I'm going to grab this bottom shade here. I might mix in a little bit of this cool tone color with it, but I'm going to start with this one first and just build this right here in the outer lid. And then once I've got it on the lid, then I can kind of work it up into the crease, lightly in the crease. And I didn't go in with that cool tone shade. I think that this will be fine. Just this brown on its own. Okay, I'm now going to grab a little bit of this shade up here. Patting this on the outer lid, smoking this up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go in to the sparkly stuff. These colors are so beautiful. I've only ever really applied them with my finger. I feel like you don't need anything else to apply these because they're just so intense and they just stick to your eyes. So 
I'm gonna use two of the shades. The first one is this one here, which this one kind of, this would focus. This one kind of goes on a little bit more like taupey, um, with like almost like a pink undertone. And then I'll end up going into this one, which is very taupey with a purpley undertone. So I'm gonna pick this one up first. I'm gonna look down into my mirror and pop this on the lid and just push it in. I'm not really wiping around, I'm just pushing. And when you push like that, it will help so that you don't get any fallout, which I feel like I'm gonna get just a little bit, but it doesn't even bother me. Um, it's not much. So I'm just pushing that onto the front part of the lid. So pretty. Get this side. And then, already that's so pretty. Um, and then with my, my another <laughs> with another finger I'm gonna grab this color and you see that you can kind of see the difference here but I'm gonna take this one and pop this closer to the outer lid this one on the front part is like my favorite so I'm kind of going back in with that just to kind of blend them together gorgeous 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 I'm gonna pick up just these darker colors and kind of smudge it into the outer corner Kind of layering on top of that silvery sparkly shade and then i'm gonna enhance the crease in just a second but first i want to go in and do my liner so i'm gonna go into the rare beauty wings liner and create a wing check out this video right up here if you want to see how i do my wing liner i walk you through it step by step and go over all of my tips and tricks so check that out if you are stumped or just need a little help with your liner okay so now that i've got the wing on now i can go and kind of just like intensify the crease and make it a little bit more apparent because it's kind of just like blending and poofing which is very beautiful you can stop here obviously um but i'm gonna go in and just kind of make the crease a little bit more intense so i'm actually gonna take a flat brush this is a 239s from mac and i'm gonna start with this color but i'm probably gonna go into this one after but i'm taking it right on the edge putting this sideways right here in the crease kind of carrying it in like this to make this a little bit more dramatic then over here i can turn the brush this way but over here i'm keeping it this way by the way i've been wearing this look a ton even without the liner and it's so beautiful and still super festive so if you're not a fan of liner or you don't like doing it or it takes too much time you can totally try this without it and look just as festive just as beautiful okay there we go now it just kind of like intensified the crease which draws more attention to the lid and the sparkles grabbing my face highlighter and really packing it on the inner corner and kind of carrying it up into the look a little bit there we go and then packing it on the brow bone and then blending that out and then i I think I want to grab that Fenty how many carrots and add this to the inner corner as well to add a little bit of sparkle so we're just really glittery going in with mascara on the top this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and then for lashes I'm gonna be using the serendipity lashes from Velour these are um, some of my favorite lashes and they come in this little set along with looks like lash glue okay lashes are on and then I went over the liner and just covered it up so that it was extra dark and whew, I just love the contrast between the thick liner the lashes but then the really sparkly lid it's just so freaking pretty so for the lower lash line i think i'm just gonna re-emphasize down here just a little bit with whatever's left over on any of my shadow brushes um and then i'm gonna go into the l'oreal voluminous mascara and this is in the color burgundy i'm gonna wipe off a lot of what's on the brush just because i don't want a ton on the lower lashes i just want a little kiss of this color just to define the lower lashes just a little bit so i'm just sitting here like scraping this off i'm gonna put the mirror up and keep my chin down um if you've just done your liner wait for it to dry before you do this because otherwise it's gonna uh transfer up onto your lids so just very lightly just kiss the lashes with this nothing too crazy and if it gets a little clumpy i'm just gonna wipe a little bit of it off who am i i used to just like load the mascara on the lower lash line 
And now for the lips. So this look, you could literally do anything you want with the lips. You could do a bright red. You could do like a berry purple. I think that would be really beautiful, especially with this shirt. I feel like a berry lip would be so pretty. Um, but I wanted to show you a cool toned neutral. I asked you guys for um, makeup requests over on Instagram and it's just shocking how many people want go-to everyday easy looks because I feel like that's all I really do. And a lot of you guys want wearable things. So, well, I still think a berry lip could be wearable, especially around this time of year. It's like, if you just go grocery shopping and like a bold red lip, it's Christmas, who cares? But I wanna show you my go-to cool toned lip that's neutral. So I'm first gonna go into the Vive Velvet Sands Lip Pencil. This is one of my favorite lip pencils ever. It's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna line my lips, overline them, and then lightly fill them in. I really need to shave my mustache. Tom so I like better watch out. This will pull really cool toned. I'm then gonna grab a little bit of Deep Taupe from Anastasia and just kind of deepen some parts of the lip. Here the corners oh my gosh this little gloss would also be so beautiful and then i'm gonna grab sierra from makeup by mario this is a lot warmer and i'm just going to kind of just tap it in just for a little hint of it give a little bit of warmth which i think nicely contrasts the cool tone colors and makes them stand out you guys know me i love mixing warms and cools together all right, and this is the final look. I love this look so much. Obviously, I've been wearing it constantly lately. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's glam, it's festive, and I feel like it, pack, it packs a punch while still being somewhat subtle. And I don't know, I just really love this. I feel like you can wear it with any outfit, with any lip. With any hairdo, I just think it's so beautiful. I just love this look. You're gonna see me wearing this throughout the whole holiday season because I just feel like this is so glam, so effortless looking, but like really packs a punch at the same time. I love the cool tones. You guys know I love cool tones and I feel like this is a very wearable cool toned look, especially if you're someone that likes warm tones. So if you end up trying this out, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see you in the look. And even if you just took a little bit of inspiration from what I did and made it your own, I would love to see how you do that too. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.